Hey, Internet. This weekend was weird, mainly because um, I went to Disneyland and uh, I saw Justin Bieber, which is the equivalent of saying, I went to Disneyland and I did something really gay, and then 1,200 girls cheered. And something interesting was they kept cheering, free Scooter! And if you've been watching the show for four months, you know Scooter is Justin Bieber's manager. And what's funny is not the fact that he was arrested because he did not tweet for Justin Bieber fans to leave a mall, and then was arrested for causing a riot, but because he wasn't arrested because he's a grown man hanging out with a 16-year-old boy with a name like Scooter. This is a new show. Quick, Scooter, get the plutonium! Not something you'll hear. Something you would hear is more like... Mr. Scooter said to get into the Scootmobile, which was his van filled with candy and popcorn and magic. And that's joke about rape. Yeah! I feel like singing stuff makes everything okay. And you'll be electrified to death. La 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 la! You will probably feel pain. I just got a little problem with Justin Bieber macking on my lady. Why don't you have respect for my pretend relationship that only exists in my brain with Katy Perry? That's right, Katy Perry kissed Justin Bieber. So then she went to Perez Hilton's birthday party and started making faces towards elephant trunks. Cause they kinda look like penises. But anyway, you guys know I love science and that's because science is amazing. According to new research, the reason people love bacon and chocolate so much is because it's kinda like cocaine to the brain. They were doing these tests on rats and they like, they've been feeding them bacon and chocolate. And then they had the other rats that didn't eat bacon and chocolate. And so they ran the test on the mice and they would like shock them when they tried to eat. Now, the ones that had not had bacon and chocolate would just go like, fuck that. Kind of a dick move, big scientist. But then the obese mice who had been eating chocolate and bacon, we'll call them the Mick mice, would eat through the pain. That's how much they loved it. And they would start going crazy when not given that food. So fat people, when people say you're fat, use that story. You'll still be fat at the end of it. But at least you have science on your side. You know, guys, of course, something else that's annoying is paying those baggage fees when you're paying for a flight. You know, you always think you got a good deal and then you go there and you're like, oh wait, that's right. I'm not just gonna go there with the clothes on my back. Silly me. And then a lot of the airlines charge you like $25 to $50 per bag. And a lot of people have been wondering what they do with that money. They've been investing the money into luggage management. And they've actually been able to decrease the rate of lost luggage by like 23%. Which sounds awesome. Except it still means they lose 3,000 bags every hour. That's crazy. Now at the end of the day, 96.6% .6 of bags get to their final destination. Which kind of sounds good, but what that really means is you have over a 3% chance to not ever get your luggage. Yay, a pimple near my mouth. No one's gonna call that herpes. And super happy fun time news, it turns out there's an underwater volcano near Italy that could erupt at any minute, causing a devastating earthquake that would destroy Italy. So if you live in Italy, you could possibly die at any moment! Or nothing will happen, but I guess we'll, um, we'll see. And guys, let's be honest, fun days suck, and that's why we need a BAMF of the day. And our BAMF of the day today is Aquarius Arnold. She was just at home, doing homework, and then she receives this strange call from a man she can't understand. Turns out the guy had brain cancer, was having a crazy seizure, and he was trying to call for help. Somehow he gets Aquarius, and Aquarius, rather than hanging up like I probably would have, thinking it was someone just messing with me. Got a hold of the police, help them trace the call, and save this man's life. So Aquarius, you are a badass motherfucker. And sometimes a story about someone helping someone they didn't even know is just what I need to reaffirm that not all people are useless. And guys, that's gonna bring me to your Monday question of the day. And of course, you can respond to any of the stories we talked about. But your Monday question of the day is, what is the nicest thing you've ever done for a stranger? Leave a text or a video response. But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Monday. And of course, if you want to check out any of the stories, links, or even today's new vloggity, check out those links in the description. But as always, guys, my name is Philip DeFranco. And you've just been filled in. I'll see you tomorrow.